Wickham getting some supplies ready for the holiday in Mull to uh, knock up some saltwater flies. Nice view of the Hogill Fells and T Bay services. Possibly the best services in the country, best motorway services, run by Westmoreland Farm Shops, stunning location. to the Western Isles and there's our ferry over there. I just got the Auburn trying for a pollock. Nice big weighted jig head, I think it's 15 grams. I've got a fly on the dropper. It's got teal blue and silver there. stream entering a, a bay which looks quite promising for sea trout especially if we get some water in that stream try and draw them in could be a kind of spot that's useful for uh, fishing at night this as well and this is bridge cottage where we're staying Lovely little spot right at the base of Ben Moor. I think that's the island's uh, biggest mountain. That's quite a walk up there, I believe. If we feel brave, we might try it. I don't know. And just over there, you can hear it chuckling in the background, is the river bar. This is a view from the kitchen window of the cottage. I don't think that's Ben Moor, but it's one of the, the mountains in front of it. Absolutely, completely and utterly stunning. Forbidden territory. Again, the river bar. Lovely pools, but looking a little bit thin at the moment. So that's the fly on the dropper. Nice bushy mallard and claret. Tied sort of palmered style. And that's the stream allure I'm going to try, which is a sort of variation on a teal blue and silver. A sort of elver come sand eel type fly. So let's skip, skip it across these waves here. Sink tip line, six weight and uh, 11 foot rod. And I'm going down to a seven pound leader point.
Might be worth mentioning uh, my brother-in-law, Brian, who we sadly lost uh, just before we went on holiday and went to his funeral more or less straight away as we got back. Um, he started me off on trout fishing really in a roundabout way, although he's not really an angler himself. Um, when I was what, seven or eight years old and he was courting my sister, uh, he took me on a little tiny burn in the Cheviot Hills and showed me the art of upstream worming and I caught my first trout. Little, it's a very dark black uh, six inch uh, brown trout, very much like the ones in the, in the river you can see here. And, uh, you know, thanks Brian, <laughs> you're the one that got me started. Fish anyway. It's a brown trout, it's a good one for the river. Oh, that's so lively. Oh. It will be one second photograph. Looking sea trout, not a big one, but that's what we've come for. All the same. There we are. Nice, funny little sea trout from the bridge pool on the worm. Love to get one on the fly, but we'll see. Back he goes. another bunny
washing it at half a pound, but... This has been such a memorable session. I don't know if you can see the uh, the estuary in the background there behind me, uh, but absolutely bizarre. Standing in the middle of a, an incoming tide with little dimples across the channel. <laughs> um, I thought there were mullet or something like that, and then I started getting the odd pull and missing them. And anyway, I must have missed 20 or 30 pulls. I've got one little tiny sea trout of about, I don't know, 11 inches and strangely two brown trout right out there almost in the sea really uh, whether they're dropping back out of the river for to feed on shrimps or something I don't know but uh, absolutely bizarre but belting with a sport so and it's such a lovely setting you know, as the sun goes down out there on those, uh, on those sands absolutely brilliant okay see you again soon